Starting off with automatic reference counting for new projects is one thing, but it's well worth converting or updating existing projects to use ARC. It's also a good way to help in understanding the differences, as we'll see in a moment. So here's a project that I'm currently working on. It's using MapKit, it's doing some data retrieval and networking, and I'd like to make sure I'm on top of any potential memory issues, so I'm converting it to use ARC. Luckily, Xcode's going to make it easy for me. And all I'm going to need to do is to choose Edit, Refactor, and Convert to Objective-C ARC. Before I do that, however, because this is an old project, I'll just hit Validate Settings. Seems I've done that already. Refactor, Convert to Objective-C ARC. Asking me to select a target, I'll say yes. I could actually just select individual classes, but I'm going to go and change everything. Now, if we hit pre check, what's going to happen is we're going to go and do some pre compiling. First thing we get is a little warning and a little explanation of what's going to happen. First of all, Xcode will use the new compiler to generate source code changes. I'll be presented with a comparison view to view the changes which is extremely useful for seeing the differences between the old and new. And then I can accept the changes. Let's go ahead. And there's my preview. Now for each one of my classes and for each file, I can actually go through and take a look and see what the changes are going to look like. If we take a look at the main.m, we're going to see how the NS auto release pool has been replaced by the new, much simpler, at auto release pool code. This could be simplified even further by just saying return UA application main, etc. And then we'll see how variable definitions are changed. An inherently unsafe definition of the delegate ID is actually labeled as such with the unsafe unretained qualifier. Retains are replaced by strong references. Another assigned down here for the delegate for the property definition is also labelled unsafe unretained. I think if we look down here, we're going to see something else. No, we're not. If we look here again, retains are replaced with strongs. If we look in the code, we'll see. The big difference. Here's the old code with its dialog, and here's the new code. No dialog. Lovely. If we look down in here, and we look down in here, the dialog's gone here as well. And I believe we're going to find there's some more things happening in this view controller here. The dialog code has been taken out. We'll notice a couple of releases have been taken out. They're no longer required. Another release has been taken out. So it's doing quite a thorough job for me. More releases gone. And here, use of auto release and defining a custom pin view has basically been taken out because it's no longer required. So all in all, pretty painless. It saved me going through and having to go and remove these various releases. It saved me going through and making the changes for the auto release pool and also making the changes from retain to strong to unsafe, etc., etc. And all I have to do to save all these changes is to click save. I'm going to get prompted to take a snapshot before conversion. And I'm going to say enable. Yes, please always safe to take a snapshot because you've got something to go back to should something go horribly wrong. In this case, of course, nothing went horribly wrong. And if we take a look now, we'll see how our strongs are in there. We go down to the main. We'll see our auto release pool is in there. And basically what Apple then recommend is that you simply compile, identify any further issues that may be there, solve those issues, 
and go through a compile loop again until you've actually resolved any issues. As you can see, a big start to adopting ARC in all of your projects.